Now let's talk about compatibility. This is relevant because each browser implements WebRTC independently, so it's important to know where things will work as expected and where they are expected to fail. As you can see, there are a lot of green squares. This is good, because it's telling us that adoption is increasing. A few years ago, there weren't that many of these, so be aware that this chart will be changing. Despite its wide adoption, there are still issues, even in compatible browser. This is because, as we said before, each browser implements things differently. Fortunately, there is a magic word that will surely help you to overcome those issues. That is adapter.js. Adapter.js is a library that encapsulates all these implementation mismatches and makes easier the work with WebRTC across browsers. Just to give you an idea of how WebRTC has evolved, take a look at this timeline. In 2011, WebRTC was released and added to Google Chrome. It wasn't until 2013 that WebRTC was added to Firefox. And in 2015, Microsoft Edge announced that it would support ORTC, which is uh, some sort of their own implementation. In 2017, Safari added the support to the WebRTC 1.1 version, and last year there were some discussions about the new features that the new version of WebRTC will have. So this is the WebRTC compatibility status. When you're ready, move to the next lesson.